ده ما ينفعناز جلاص لو بو دي با مو ده خمس لوك جبي دي با هيلو جلاص هيلو اوكي سو كم باك تو بزنس ما طلع خمس ساعات براكم ان اي تشار براكم اوبسست اوبسست فور لايف ستريمينج And you know, vlogging. Okay. So there it is. Simula na natin yung ano. The Bluetooth device is really cheap. Simula na natin arang kada na yon. Okay. Ganon. So topic for today is all about centripetal force. Okay. Centripetal force is a force directed towards the center of a you know a circular you know path. Creating a motion like a circle or a round. Okay, so we have, for example, this one is, uh, for example, guys, and uh, if this is, uh, let us say, I'm walking, I'm walking. This is June, June, like that. I'm walking, going to the right. Then I have the force F, and I have also the velocity V. So the force and velocity will always be there and every time we walk, we do the work, every day is the car, we, we go to our places to places, not necessarily mean you have a car or any machine you use, as long as you are undergoing a motion, then there will be a velocity and a force. In this case, this is this Junjun accelerating, okay, to the point, something like that, okay, to get the point. But then if, you know, if the velocity is going to the left, something like that, so it's going to be negative. So still have the force, but Jun Jun is decelerating. Decelerating. Decelerating and accelerating. Accelerating increases the speed, decelerating increases the speed. Something like that. So in the direction, accelerating is, you know, increasing the velocity, and decelerating is decreasing the velocity something like that but this that is linear motion right okay now if you try to put that in a another picture like a circle so i will i will walk in the rotonda for example to do my exercise as part of my diet for example or health of this for example this is the rotonda or shall we say an oval like an oval or a cricket oval or any kind of oval a football oval a soccer oval, something like that. It doesn't mean so. I have here, and there is a very big circle, right? On the same, uh, this is an oval, something like that. Okay, wow, big circles, circles. Then, I, then I'm walking here, like that. Okay, I have the force, okay, and I have also the velocity together. It's always together, the velocity and the force. So that you can have the motion. That is really the, the concept. Okay. So the velocity will be going to the right and the force will be going to the you know upward, going to the center of the you know of the circular dimension of the oval, something like that. And then your F C will be here. And by then I can walk it. I am here already. Junjun is already here, something like that. And the like velocity will be here to the right and then we'll go to the FC also will be here FC C C since we have now here on the left the velocity will go in upward okay because in this case if this is a circle your FC velocity will be perpendicular with each other something like that to form a 90 degree something like that uh, a right triangle Okay, and then that engine will still work, walk to until here, I am not over here. Okay, like that. To the point, I'm going to come back. Here, here, here. Okay, my central force or my centripetal force will be here, directly to the center. And my velocity is going to the left already. I have now a negative velocity, right? Like that. And after walking, Jin Jin is walking. Okay, I am already here. Okay? Then, obviously, my central force, my force is going to the center. And then, 
award, the last people going down the award. In negative velocity. So it looks like they are really perpendicular with each other in the circular, in the curvature or a circular path. But in linear motion, it doesn't have to be perpendicular, it's parallel. Because that's linear motion, something like that. Okay? So in here, we can create a, a formula basing on uh, the physics. A centripetal force is equals to okay, the mass of the person, this one, June June, in going to the circle. Multiply by the velocity, okay, like that, over the radius. This is really the standard formula for centripetal force. Okay, mass of the object, okay, in this case, a person, so mass of the person times velocity raised to the power 2 over r, something like that, okay? Now, since we need to obey also in the second law of Newton, okay, what's the second law of Newton? For example, if um, Jun Jun, is in motion, will remain at motion in walking unless acted upon by an air force. Okay? For example, if my F net is zero, I will, never, I will never be moving anymore if my F net is zero. Something like that. Okay? I always have the force mga palanda because we are having the gravity. Okay, something like that. So the gravity is our force in the, the land. Right in the ground, something like that, okay? And our weight will be uh, pointing downward. So in that case, our since that is pointing downward, meaning our force will just be equal to the mass times the acceleration to the gravity, or just be, it will be equal to the weight force. Okay, I like this. Weight force is equal to, uh, it will become a force, the weight will become a force, so it, weight force, because you are directed downward. So it's, Gravity is because of mass times acceleration g, like that, okay? This is our weight force. Okay, now going back here, right? So it's gonna be like that. So, second law of exact Newton, Fc is equals to, uh, not really Fc, you will say F is equals to mass times acceleration. This will just be equal to Fc because you are in a circular motion. So, so it will become Fc is equal to the mass mass acceleration, that is your equation 2, equation 1. Equate them to because you are dealing with the same force. So Fc, okay, by Newton, is equal to the Fc in the circular path that Jun Jun covered. Okay, Fc. And then Fcm, which is the Newton. So you can know this one, so mass mass acceleration and centripetal force, the original by the circular, so mv squared or r, then you can cancel the r. That's why we have a formula, acceleration or centripetal acceleration is equal to v squared over r. So this is your formula for centripetal acceleration. You have known the centripetal acceleration because I am accelerating in walking in a circular path in the oval. Then I have also the force for that. Okay, how to compute the velocity? It's very easy. You have already, if you have the acceleration, you have the, you have the r, the radius. Then you have the velocity. You don't have to worry. You have to measure the radius of the oval. Take the diameter, or take the radius, and then you can solve the uh, velocity for that. Okay? Get the point. Nada siya. So we have now the formula like that. Get the point, mga palanda, kung tag. It's gonna be like that. Now, this is the third part also. This is equation one. Okay? Equation two. And then we have the equation three also the way first. And now, what about the, you know, the circumference? Okay. Since this is a circle, mga palanda, kung tag, we know that the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. Right? Pi r. So this will serve as our total dis displacement. Okay, total displacement that Jun Jun taking from point here, 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 going to the circular path. So I have another version of taking the velocity. So you have to say, okay, acceleration is equal to the velocity over the time. Hello. Acceleration is velocity over the time. So let's equate that this in this original equation 2 and 1, something like that. So acceleration is equals to 2 pi r over t, right? Ano mm. tayo, lain formula, okay? Like that. Am I correct? C is equal to 2 pi r, so really this is displacement, right? 
So, displacement over time. Okay? So, displacement over time is going to be the velocity. Okay? By definition. Okay? So, displacement over time. Okay? Over time is your velocity. So, you say velocity is equal to 2 pi r over t. Right, mga palang akong magtag? Yeah. So, if you have the velocity in this kind of formula, then you can substitute also in this kind of asymptotical acceleration. Then you have another equation of asymptotical acceleration also. Substitute of one, then you can compute for that. It's equal to 2 pi r t squared r. Then you can end up as 4 pi, uh, 4 pi squared. Okay, that's gonna be r and then t squared. Okay, this will be your ano siya. This will be your formula of your centripetal uh, acceleration in another version. Wow, di ba? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be like that. Okay, so you have now two formula of centripetal acceleration. Okay, ito po yung mga talaga unitad. Okay, ganon. Okay, so this two. Uh, Centripetal acceleration is equal to 4 times pi over the power 2 times the radius over the t over the power 2. And centripetal acceleration is equal to t squared over r. Okay, and the force equals to t squared over r. There's a force of center, so it's uh, Isaac Newton. And then you have the velocity formula here. Circumference, weight force, and everything is just like this story, okay? And then you can compute now for your problem solving if you have now this in your mind. To the point, yeah, you know, shop. Any questions so far with this? Okay, to the point, so it's gonna be like that. This is only a uh, basic if there's no, for example, if if I have a rope like this and I bring, I tie the rope with, I tie the ball with a rope, and, and while I'm walking, I, I will take the ball like that, like that's another story also. To the point, so you need to have the tension there, tension force, okay, while walking, and I will like at the ball like that. And there's another story for that equation also varies. To the point, then on, okay. So, in which particular situation, mga palanga, that the tension, the centripetal force will be uh, will be produced, okay. Okay, how can we say? For example, at first, we can produce centripetal force in different situations so that we need to know where we can apply this. Okay? In the computation, in the problem solving. Okay, for example, uh, uh, car going to, to rotunda or circular. Uh, yeah, rotunda is circular, right? Like that. So, you can create centripetal force there through static fraction. Okay? Static fraction between the, the road and the tire. Okay, we need to say, if the, if the road will touch the tire, the wheel of the car, that really promotes the centripetal force while you are turning curve. Something like that. Okay? In the in a U-turn, in a runabout, something like that. So that's the time you, you need to get the centripetal force. That is the first uh, situation. In the problem, um, Jun Jun ride a, a, a car and go into the city, blah, 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 so and so, in a circular like that. How much velocity acceleration Jun Jun uh, get <laughs> produced with a blah, 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 so and so, with a diameter, blah, blah, blah. So you can complete already because you have now the equations I show you, right? Like that. And secondly, for example, mga palanga ang hitad for you. The ball is tied with a rope. Like that. And you will like that. What is this one? Swirl? Something like that. So that, that if the tension force of the rope will create a centripetal force. Okay? So it is a tension force also. We can get centripetal force for the tension force. If we have the tension force, Specific example is we need tied uh, an object and swirl that in a circular motion. 
or even not only that swirl, it will just create a you know a curve like a circular motion, and then it goes up and going down like this. So, now this like, just like uh, if you want to yo-yo like that, it will get like this, like this. It will create a circular, right? So there's a centripetal force with that. Tension force is acting on that yo-yo, something like that. You get the point, okay? And then also the the pendulum. The pendulum will not go 360 degrees, but you know it it only develops a partial centripetal force, okay? Like that. Number three, we have also the, we can produce also the tripetal force through the gravity, okay? Gravity, okay? In what situation for this? This is in the solar system, for example, this is the sun, okay? This is the moon, okay? The, you know, the earth will uh, exert gravity towards the solar surface, solar system, outer space, like that. And then the moon also will exert gravity towards the earth. Okay, so that's why the moon will never go outside. It's always going to the center of the curvature. It's always facing the earth. That's why we can see the moon. Okay, if the moon will not travel on a circular path and there's no gravity, the moon will escape somewhere else. That we cannot see the moon <laughs> because it will not follow the circular uh, path orbit in its own orbit. They have also their own orbit, something like that, okay? You get the point. That's why you will see them on because they exert a gravity towards the Earth, and the Earth also exerts gravity towards the Moon. So we can create centripetal force through gravity also, in this case, in the uh, universe or in a solar system, like that, okay? You get the point. So the most common is distension force in physics. This is the most common, and the number one also, the car, like this, blah, 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 so and so, okay? You get the point. And sometimes also, uh, this is rare, not most of the times. Uh, for example, if you go to a certain mountain, something like that, okay? And the mountain is forming like a, a curve, <laughs> something like that. And then you go down, and then going up, going down, like that, going up something like that but you don't have to do that you just have you carry a ball an object normally an, a ball because a ball will really move right it will not stop because if it's an object it will stop immediately because that is not the round edge okay the round edge will easily have the velocity by itself okay comparing to a paper it will not move when you like this when you when you throw and roll it, <laughs> it will just be there. So the example is a ball, okay? For example, if this is a, a land going to a, a deep, like a circular ground, like a deep but circular in a shape, like that, okay? Like a da -da 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 -da, and then going to the mountain again, which is very high, and then forming a circular curvature, like that. And you have the ball here, and you will roll that here, da -da 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 -da. Here, it will have a force and at the same time velocity. Okay, the force here will be directed downward, but plus one. So then your opposite force is the normal force. Okay, so in this situation, guys, the normal force will act to produce your centripetal force in this case. Okay, so for example, an examination will ask. Give me four examples in which centripetal force will be produced. Your answer will be this. Okay? Co a car going to the rotunda, specific example, and static friction produce centripetal force. Number two, okay, the, the ball is tied by a rope and swirl it in a circular motion. It, the centripetal force will produce tension force. And then the number three, okay, the moon except gravity to the earth and the earth except gravity to the moon, that is true gravity, so that we can produce centripetal force. And number four, with the ball rolls on the, you know, circular mountain downward and upward, something like that, the normal force can create your centripetal force. Okay, the, the question in this is, in what occasion the centripetal force will be produced? Okay. It's gonna be like it because it's impossible for an airplane to travel in a circular curvature. There's no purpose at all, right? But in the land, it's always having the rotonda, the runabout. Of course, it can create centripetal force in that, but it never will happen to the sky. 
<laughs> Maybe it will take only a quarter, halfway, let's say halfway, or let's say uh, one eighth, but it will never be full. This is only full circle, like a full circle and also a, a little bit half. Okay, but normally, if half only, not meeting the requirement of a centripetal force. Okay, it should be curvature and circular path and round talaga siya ma, round circle. Okay, I don't think so if airplane will travel really in 360 degrees. It's just like playing, right? They will go to a certain destination, then they will create a 360 degrees. It's impossible, right? For me. Okay, maybe it's only for game exhibition in the sky, but it's not really that kind of, I know, uh, intention to go places to places to create a circular <laughs> motion by a plane. But by a car, no problem. By a bus, like this, because there's always a, you know, a curvature in going to the runabout, going to the road, no problem for that. Okay? But the problem is that airplane, I think, I think so, not. Okay? For me, lang, huh? based on practical, you know, setting. Okay? Then on. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Okay. Okay. Now, I will choose this problem because this is very easy to solve. Okay? This one. Unya, guys, kung... Uh, I-connect na natin ang angular motion also. If it is necessary, kung ano siya mga angle-angle ha? Angle na yung mga kuan, mga revolutions per second. Okay, mga ganun. I-connect na to ang frequency, charara, to the, you know, to the circular motion. And we have also the... Ganon siya guys ah. Okay? So, angular velocity, ganon. Angular velocity is also 2 pi radian times the frequency. You should attach this because normally if there's an angle of inclination uh, in a curvature and then the and the given will be in radian, in radian. So, you should understand also because not all the time an angle will be given. Sometimes radian will convert to the angle, angle to the radian, and ganon. Diba? So, at least we have an idea. So, angular velocity, mauna siya yung metago. Okay? Ganon. So, 2 pi radius is frequency. Ito ito po yung mga talaga kong metal. Okay? And then, this 2 pi radius will be over revolution. Meaning, in every revolution, you can create a 2 pi radius. It's just the same with that. In every circumference, you can create 2 pi radius. Okay, okay, but here the radius is just a number, but here radian is a word radian only, not necessarily you have to put value. Okay, but the story is just the same thing. Circumference is 2 pi times radius. Here you will substitute any figure of the radius. Okay, this is not saying that rad is the abbreviation of the radius, it's not. Okay, radian really is a uh, uh, a term or a unit in a circular motion, uh, the opposite of the angle, something like that, okay? If you have the angle, you can compute the radian. If you have the radian, you can compute the angle. So in the calculator, it, it's a two method. If you express it in the radian, or if you express it in the angle. Okay, for example, you will turn that in a mode four or mode five. Your calculator will change also, okay? Ganon siya. Okay, so proprietary siya, but 2 pi radian, ganon. Okay, then revolution is in one cycle or one revolution. And siya. So your frequency ng mga palangga kong hitad, okay, will be revolution per second. Okay, then makasalim mo ang revolution, okay, what, what will remain is radian per second. And this is angular velocity. If you see a word radian over something, blah, 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 so and so, that attach the word angular, because that's the basis already. Angular velocity, angular speed, oh, ganon. Angular displacement, chuba, choo, choo. Then angular, of course, angular acceleration, right? Ganon siya, fairness, okay? You get the point. Hmm. So, kung natin yung mga inanin siya ng higayun na kinamata angular velocity, kinamata angular acceleration, na alpha sa ta siya. It's close to angular velocity, which is this one. Uh, and over the time, so you will say 2 pi radian 
over the time. Let me say your angular acceleration. Okay? Because this super radian is acting as an angular displacement. Because the word radian. Actually, part of the question is, is a digital and ray and radius radian shock, something like that. Okay, that's the point. It's gonna be like that only. Okay? Then if you have the frequency, okay, this is automatically the hertz. Okay? Hertz. That's why we have the unit of hertz for the frequency. Okay? Can be applicable in electricity, but can be applicable also here. Okay, but not in terms of electricity. Okay, in terms of revolution. Okay, you get the point. So revolution per second. Ganon. Or in another way around, that's gonna be cycle per second. Actually, so many things. Yeah. Revolution per second is also cycle per second because what is this one cycle? It's also one revolution. Okay. What's that? What's it? <laughs> okay, cycle per second, revolution per second, sometimes also uh, vibration in terms of mga ano na siya, current electricity. So vibration per second, meaning the electrically charged particle electron vibrated in every time. So that is frequency. Because the electrons will move, right? To create electricity and current in a particular wire. They will not move as if they are not moving. What I'm saying, they are not moving without vibrating. The electrons are also moving but vibrating. That's why vibration per second. Or shall we say oscillate, oscillation per second. Oscillation per second. So these are all frequency and the unit is hertz. Okay? You get the point? That's why one per second. Because one cycle per second. One vibration per second. One oscillation per second. Something like that. Okay? Get the point? Ganun siya mga palangga. Okay? You get the point. And then, in here, we have the reverse of the frequency, which is the period. Okay? Capital T. Capital T is the period, meaning the time also, meaning the reverse of your frequency. Something negative. You have the revolution per second, substitute to the one of the revolution per second. Because one, one, then second per revolution. So your unit of uh, time period here will be second per revolution. Simply the reverse of frequency. Right? The reverse of your frequency will be your time period. In this case, okay? You get the point? This is purely math here. When you divide something, you will uh, rotate the... You will exchange the... <laughs> Uh, numerator, it will be from your denominator here. So it will the rule of you know of multiplication division by a fraction. Okay, you will change it. Yeah. If it's a negative sign, it will become positive. If you try to put that in the numerator, it will negative if you will if you will never put that in the denominator. Okay. Um, for example, like this, okay, ohms. One ohm. Okay. And then if you, the reverse is 1 over ohm, right? Or this will equal to ohm raised to the power negative 1. So things like this is a basic math, okay? So so in short, since I am doing this, I can say also mo, M-H-O, okay? So the mo is the reverse of the ohm. So we have to say the mo is having a charge of negative 1, okay, and it's also equal to 1 over ohm. And simply, this is equal to 1 shaman. Okay? 1 shaman is equals to 1 mo is equals to 1 over mo, or mo is the power negative 1. So shaman really is a unit of the reverse of voltage. Because ohm is the unit of voltage. Am I correct? Yes, ohm is the unit of voltage, and then the reverse will be the, so the, the reciprocal of the voltage is simply the Schemann or the Mo. Okay, but Schemann is not common, but actually this is the definition of Schemann. That's why we have Schemann technology. Okay, Schemann product is derived by this formula. Okay, like that, right? Schemann's. So, you derive your name there in a mathematical expression by the unit of voltage. Okay. 
okay? The reverse or the reciprocal of the voltage. Okay? Reciprocal meaning the reverse. Okay? Or the opposite. Any questions so far? Well, that na. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching for the theory concepts of centripetal force or how it is being produced and the formulas of different uh, quantities in circular motion. These are all circular motion, right? Okay, thank you so much for watching. You can comment down below in the comment section. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel if you don't, uh, if you like. <laughs> okay, and I'm very, very grateful for that. And you can also click the notification bell for some ways of this. I am a senior. If you're with, oh my gosh, what's happening? Okay, here. Mga patikulita, di ba? Ganon. Bye-bye.